and they hated, they had, as Paul said, it's IV politics. Here was their chance for the first woman president they've always been working on, and Hillary had all this experience, whatever, like that, and here's this newcomer, pumped her out, and basically, you know, made Bill Clinton, this is our personal opinion, some people would say that made Bill Clinton, and by, by implication Hillary, look like racist. And it wasn't because Hillary stayed in there and showed her toughness, won my respect, that she basically forced him to have to put her as Secretary of State. You think he likes Hillary Clinton? Heck no, the Clintons don't like him. And so the point is, is that if you can peel off some of those young voters, some of those women voters uh, from the Republican Party, you put Marco Rubio in there as VP or something like that, you get some Hispanics, Obama is done because he's never going to get Republican votes. And he's lost a lot of independent votes, and they can do it. Now, there is a question, and, and, and Sarah Palin has some work to do to continue to, you know, lower her negatives and shore up some independence. It's not like she's going to walk in there and it's immediately she's won. But I think she, I see the fire, the energy, and the tools to win, whereas I don't see a path to win from these other people. Now, this is, again, a, a week is a lifetime in politics. Anything can change. There's all kinds of new people that might come up. My, a, a candidacy could light fire and all that type of stuff. But trying to come up with any insider blessed candidate to defeat Sarah Palin and this venom and this fixation with defeating Sarah Palin, no matter what, by our own party is insane. But those are the same people that want her money, that want her ratings, that want to go on her show. Sure. Uh, and that's, that's junk. So, so you asked for my opinion as far as Sarah Palin is concerned. Yeah. Um, I do not agree with the vitriol. I do not agree with inside and outside of the Republican Party. I cannot believe that they're using something like you know, a shooting involving 19 people dead. How the correlation between Sarah Palin and a sociopathic killer have, have anything to do with one another? It is disgusting. That it is, is disgusting. disgusting. It's immoral. It's disgusting. It's exploitation at its finest. Okay. My issues with Sarah Palin and, 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 uh, is as a party. I mean, I told, well, hold on. I told, I'll just shut sure. up about this. Quick question. And you know how crazy the left goes on Sarah Palin. And the, They'll and, use anything. Right. They'll and, use anything. And, and you have to ask yourself, why is that? With their, she's such a joke. Because she's a force of nature right now in politics. That's and it. She's, she's why are they so afraid of her? Right. So And, and she, she's very intimidating because she stands for something that resonates with the American people. And I get that. Thank you. And I get that. I'm not disagreeing with you. I don't feel that she doesn't have a place in Republican politics, and I absolutely do. I do not feel, is that the best that we have? Is Sarah Palin the best that we have to defeat Obama? Well, here's my only point about that. That is, that's sad. And, and that Paul, is sad to Well, me. here's my only point. That, that, okay. that worries me. And, and there's my only point. I, I don't have a fundamental issue with Sarah Palin being involved in Republican politics. I have an issue for, I have an issue with her as our Republican nominee for the President of the United States. That's my issue. Okay. I don't feel, I do not feel that she has the depth of experience or the understanding. I feel that she's, I feel she's a very strong woman. Yeah. I feel that she definitely understands what she's getting herself into, but that does not make her qualified to be the president of the United States. No, we, we there okay. is a difference no, between the two. I understand you're making a, a fine, distinct point, but for the purposes of this video, you hate Sarah Palin. I love Sarah Palin. Paul, <laughs> what, what, what? I, I do not hate Sarah Palin. <laughs> wow, what do you, I love Sarah. Paul, what do you think about that? Don't you think it's true that these that these liberals are targeting Sarah Palin because they're sure. so afraid of her? And my only point, and maybe your point is, look. You know what? I'm not saying that she's, you know, uh, uh, the second coming of Jesus Christ. I'm just saying, you know, and, you know, for all these people saying she can't win, she can't win. Let the voters decide. It's not. What are you so, uh, what are you John, so scared of? Let the voters decide. It's not a matter of whether or not she can win. It's a matter of whether or not we as Republicans want that as our representation of our our yeah, yeah, but, our best, but, most sorry, credible candidate. You, you have to look but at this from two standpoints. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I mean, it's not just who can we find to defeat Obama. Well, that's great. But we're still stuck with this person for four years. Great. They've defeated Obama. Congratulations. We got him out of office, and that is ultimately our goal. Yeah. However, what are the implications of of someone like Sarah Palin as our Republican nominee? Do you understand what that means? Yeah, yeah I'll tell you the implications. Okay, so we, the implications so we, are lower taxes, wait, less regulation. So we as Americans... Cool parties. So... So we, <laughs> listen seriously. This I'm is a serious. serious topic. I am serious. So we as Americans, I think Sarah Palin's great. So we as Americans elected Obama as president because one, he was a Democrat. Two, the Republicans, thanks to the Bush administration, basically handed the presidency to any Democrat that ran for office. Literally, they any blew, Democrat. They blew the brand. And three, because of race identity, first black president. I mean, I'm not saying something that everyone else in the world doesn't already know. Did Obama have the depth of, depth of experience and the, or the military background or the understanding of the position he was getting himself into? You know, did he have the resume 
Did he have the resume that is needed for someone to lead our nation? No. And my question to you is, are we as Republicans, are we doing the same thing that we've accused the Democrats of doing when they elected Obama? Okay. Would we be doing the well, same uh, thing to Sarah Palin that the Democrats did when they elected Obama? You talk Obama? about the resume. You talk about the resume it's and important. everything like that. Okay, fine. I'm not saying it's not important, but here, you, you know, here, and I'll turn it over to Paul after this. Is that, look, I, I, I've been involved in politics longer than, than, than sure. most people that I, that I ever see. I also have, you know, two degrees from Berkeley, and I'm a super genius, okay? My IQ is 174. There's very few people I'm ever going to meet that are smarter than me. I'm talking about common no, sense. No, but, I'm, but you, know what, you know what my requirements for, for, you know what my resume for president is? A, right now, in, in 2011, looking for 2012, A, someone that can beat Obama, sure. and someone that has serious conservative values, and is willing to stick by him, and get it done, and can freaking, you know, lower taxes, lower regulation, get us business friendly here in America again, get our freedoms back again, and we'll actually be resonant with and listen to the people. I don't need some snob from Harvard or Yale or anything like that. I want someone that's going to put this country right. back on track. But that's not the argument at hand. Hold on, let's get Paul in the mix. Paul, talk to me. All right, let me say three things here. First of all, Sarah Palin is much smarter than people think that she yeah, is. Dude. I remember reading a, um, a remark from someone who was involved in the Alaska legislature. They didn't identify themselves, but it, what they said made it pretty clear that they knew what they were talking about. And they talked about Governor Palin, and they're like, look, she picked up things faster than anybody I've ever seen. She could come into a room, get things negotiated and compromised where other people had failed, very much so. And she just, you know, she adapted more rapidly than any other person I'd ever been around. So this thing, John and I talk about this as the James Carville problem. James Carville is the bald-headed Democratic strategist who's from Louisiana. He's got a Cajun accent. He has his own little way of speaking. He, he doesn't For always Clinton, come across as Mary, very Mary, Mary, but he is very intelligent. Sarah Palin is from Alaska. She speaks a certain way. She uses certain phrases, but don't let that cloud how smart she really is. Right, Number two. right, I understand what, what Chris was saying, what Chris was saying about, again, is what are the implications if we elect Sarah Palin? Sarah Palin, just the antidote to Barack Obama. Here's my question in response to that. What are the implications of having four more years of a guy that spent 20 years in Reverend Wright's church? Is that worrisome? Is that a problem? Or is it more important that we have the, the proper purity test for our Republican nominee? Or is it more important to defeat that man? To me, it's more important to defeat that man. And so, to my final point here is, we can't let the perfect get in, in the way of the good here. We can't do that. This is a binary choice. This is going to be a difficult thing. We don't maybe, you know, in, in Chris's mind and a lot of people's minds, you know, this might not be the best crop we've ever had of Republican candidates. But the number one goal here is not where the implications in 2016 is the the brand of the Republican Party going to be blown up like it was under Bush. It's, are we going to try to actually retake the White House, or are we not? And if we are going to do that, we need to figure out who has the best opportunity to do that and support them. That's my personal feeling here. I agree, and I just want to say something real quick. I'll let Chris have the last word, since she's outnumbered here. The question, to me, uh, to me, <laughs> the, the, the point is, if Republicans are really serious about the rhetoric of, Hey, the debt and deficit is so important and it's so bad and, and, and we need to stop it right now. We've got to get the freedom back and whatever. And we're on the precipice and all this stuff. And we're really serious about this, then we need to be serious about beating Obama in, in 2012. And I'm telling you right now, these guys are going to pull out all the stops. They've got Axelrod. They've got other people, uh, I believe, uh, maybe I have this wrong, but I believe they're staying up shop in Chicago. They're getting it going right now. They're going to have unprecedented amounts of money. You're going to see a push like never before by Obama and his allies. I'm talking mainstream media. I'm talking unions. I'm talking at all of that. It's coming. And, and don't think, don't, you know, don't think that, oh, we won in 2010. It's all going to be good for 2012. You're wrong about that. We need to put a major effort in here. So as Paul says, the number one most important thing is to win. Obviously, win legit and all that. No question about it. I'm not talking about using any underhanded tactics. I'm talking about winning legit, you know, but that's the number one, number one goal. And number two, all I'm saying is I love Sarah Palin. I think she's a lot smarter, more effective, everything that a lot of people are, are, are giving her credit for. And then my only third thing is, listen, just let the voters decide. If she announces and decides to run, don't try to blow it up before it happens. Don't try to impugn her. We don't need her to take arrows from our own party. Let her run. And then you vote for her, don't vote for her, campaign for her, campaign against her, let the process work out and see where we're at. Sure. 
My question is, is this the best that we have? That is my concern. The voters will decide. Or it cannot be, or I would like to see, I would like to see a more formidable, intelligent, more experienced candidate. That's what I'm telling you. I have no issue with Sarah Palin. Do I feel that she is the best that we have? I sure hope not. And our only litmus test for who our Republican nominee is for the presidential seat, if our only litmus test is whether or not they can beat Obama, I'm ashamed of that. That cannot be the only thing that we focus on. It is a foremost, it is a foremost <laughs> focus, but it cannot, it cannot be our it cannot be our only focus. That's the number one focus. We cannot accuse the Democrats of electing someone based on, you know, the failures of the Bush administration, based on race identity. Someone with a lack of experience would then do the same thing. Well, she's a woman, and she's tough, and she knows what she's getting herself no, into. No, 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 no. And she's getting all this media attention. She had, And you say, wait, had, you had your time. Fine. And you say she's a lot more intelligent, you know, the media is portraying her this way and that. Then I want to see it. Who raises more money? I, Who raises I, more money than Sarah Palin? Right, but I want to see it. Well, why does she raise money? I, why, why do people want to see her? Why does she resonate? Why does she get ratings? She's a, it's she's a media whore. She's a, <laughs> she's a media whore. <laughs> she's effective. Yeah, listen, I'm telling there's you. A lot you're of other, me a there's question. a lot of other quote unquote media whores do you want that, want that, that don't raise that much money. Do you want my response? Yes. Or do you want to talk over me? I want your response. She has a reality show. And I love Sarah Palin. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I think it's great what she's doing for the party, but I also have another question for you.